Hi, this is Professor Favors with the lecture prepositions and prepositional phrases. So sometimes people oftentimes have issues with prepositions. And the best way that I try to explain it is that a that prepositions basically tell you the location of something. So for instance, if you were standing um, in your bathroom or if you were uh, standing outside, in and the word outside are uh, prepositions. They tell you the location of some um, of uh, of someone or something. So let's go over this lecture. You can find um, the discussion of prepositions on pages 17 to 28 in the course text. So this is the lecture on prepositions and prepositional phrases that corresponds to the practices, assignments, and quizzes. The information below is taken directly from the course text, which is titled Fundamentals of College Writing. So let's look at the definition of preposition and prepositional phrase. A preposition is a word used to show the relationship of a noun or a pronoun to some other word in the sentence. And then prepositional phrase is a group of words made up of a preposition, including at, from, and to, and its object, a person, place, or thing. Now, using to can get very tricky because to is also connected to uh, a, a, a uh, verb. And when you bring them together, they represent an infinitive. So it's not completely a prepositional phrase. And there is an example of this in this lecture. So the pattern when you are thinking about how to understand what a prepositional phrase is, look, first find the preposition and then any word after that any word or words after that that tells you the location of a noun or pronoun represents the uh, object and that creates a prepositional phrase. So preposition plus object equals prepositional phrase. So let's look at some examples. Uh, so a preposition would be at or behind, of, on. And then, then when you um, couple that preposition with uh, a word, uh, a noun or pronoun, it, it becomes at home, behind her. We know that her, he, she, her, it, uh, them, they, those are um, pronouns. So behind her, she stands behind her, of the students, and then on the table. So that's what you do. You find the preposition first, and then you figure out what the noun or the pronoun is that is connected to the preposition and that becomes the object. And then you pair them together and that creates the prepositional phrase. So then where, when, which, and how uh, is another way that we can look at or examine prepositional phrases. So there's where, when, which, and how. So if we look at some examples, Richland College is located in Dallas, Texas. So that means it is within the limits of Dallas, Texas. Our class starts at nine o'clock a.m. Uh, the girl in the blue dress is my sister. The blue dress is the object. In is your preposition. So when you pair them, pair them together, it becomes a prepositional phrase. And then she dances like a pro. And so then uh, like a pro is then your prepositional phrase because it tells you how. So again, when I mentioned at the beginning of this lecture, I said something about location. And so prepositions and prepositional phrases identify the location of an object. These are common prepositions. So above, across, around, before, and at, between, by, in, beside, into, off, on, onto, through, behind, toward, under, beneath, under, underneath, near, and until. And so a lot of times um, you are operating uh, funny, uh, you are operating almost as a preposition and prepositional phrase when you stand near a building. Uh, Jane is standing near the building. Near is the preposition. Near the building would be the prepositional phrase. So you can easily create a sentence using any one of these prepositions. And, and the, uh, the irony is you've been using preposition as operating as a preposition, uh, being the object uh, for a very long time.
Okay, so here's a sample sentence. Jack lives above John. Jack lives around the corner from Sam. Jack lives behind the corner from the corner store. And uh, the, the, there, there's more than one preposition in this um, sentence, but I only wanted to show you the above, around, and behind. So then if you look at the prepositional phrases, above John, around the corner, behind the corner. But uh, just a quick note, from Sam, from the corner store, are also prepositions and prepositional phrases as well. So when you want to create a compound preposition, uh, they are just a little bit different. Um, and you have seen use of these words that you see in this table in other ways, uh, maybe before a sentence or, or within a sentence. So that is according to, as of, aside from, because of, in addition to, in front of, in place of, in spite of. And then on account of, out of, prior to, by means of. And we talk like this or we write like this all the time, but not really uh, realizing that they are um, compound present, uh, prepositions. So here are some example sentences. According to John, we can hire Jack. Because of Jack's hiring, we will all get a raise. We can hire Jack in place of Sam. And so these are your comp uh, compound prepositions. Now, when it's time to identify the preposition and then combine the sentences using prepositional phrases, again, look for the preposition. So in the first sentence, only one of us plays the piano. So we understand that of is your uh, preposition. And so then of us would be the prepositional phrase, okay? So we have one. Now we're looking for two in the next sentence. So after high school, my best friend moved to Tennessee. After is a preposition, okay? After my high school would be your prepositional phrase, okay? To Tennessee, meaning that you are going in a direction towards something. So to would be a preposition to Tennessee would be the prepositional phrase, okay? The game between Texas and, and Oklahoma was exciting. We only have one between, because it tells you the location of something. So between, and then between Texas and Oklahoma before you get to that verb. And that becomes your uh, prepositional phrase. The dog hid under the porch, under, tells you the location of something where the dog is. So that is your preposition. And then under the porch, sorry about that. Under the porch becomes your prepositional phrase. And then the last one, we agree to meet at the library to study. So you see this to meet here and to study, those are infinitives. They are part of the verb family but they're not actually verbs. It's just something that you're about to do, but you're not actually doing it. The true preposition in this sentence is at, and then at the library becomes the prepositional phrase. So keep that in mind uh, because it can get a little tricky. Some things you just you know kind of have to know in terms of grammar. So now we wanna combine sentences using prepositional phrases. So we have two, two sentences and they are indicating a particular idea. So the batter swung at the ball and hit it. He hit it over the fence. The student hung a welcome sign. Uh, they hung it at the entrance of the school. Jamie slept, she slept on the couch, she slept until noon. And then the train came to a stop. It stopped near Union Station. Union Station is in Dallas, Texas. So the goal when you are combining sentences using a prepositional phrase is just to simply write the sentence uh, without a lot of the wordiness. And that's a way that you can revise your own sentences. So we are using prepositional phrases here. That's the goal, prepositional phrases. So that means we can remove anything that is unnecessary to, uh, to the sentence. 
For now, I really want to type it out. So the batter swung at the ball and hit it. We don't need uh, he hit it because we're already using hit it. And then we want to use a prepositional phrase. Over is your prepositional phrase over the fence. That's your sentence here. Okay. And so that gives us an opportunity to combine the sentences without having to be so wordy. And over is, is actually your preposition. Over the fence is your prepositional phrase. Okay. Let's write the next sentence. So the students hung a welcome sign. They hung it at the entrance of the school. So the students hung a welcome sign. Where did they hang the welcome sign? At the entrance of the school, right? So we don't have to uh, keep repeating uh, how they, hung, I mean, uh, the fact that they hung it, we can just remove that, okay? So at the entrance, sorry about that, of the school, of the school. So we have uh, two prepositional phrases here. We have at the entrance, okay, that's one. And then we have of the school, that's your second, okay? So at the entrance of the school. Let's write the next one. So Jamie slept, scroll down a little bit. Jamie slept, she slept on the couch, she slept until noon. Jamie slept. We're adding a prepositional phrase. So the very first thing we need to look for is the prepositional phrase, which is on here, right? And until here. And those are your prepositional phrases. So Jamie slept on the couch until noon. And now that makes the sentence a little cleaner. We don't have all of the wordiness, right? And so on the couch is your prepositional phrase. Um, the, the, uh, the preposition is on first, and then the couch, which is the object, is on the couch, with the, which is your prepositional phrase. Until is also a preposition, until noon, which tells you when. And so that becomes your prepositional phrase. Last sentence. So the train came to a stop. It stopped near Union Station. Union Station is in Dallas, Texas. So let's look for the prepositions. Near is one. In is another. Okay. And in the beginning sentence, two is, is uh, one as well. Okay. So those are your main uh, prepositions in the sentence. So we are adding or use, uh, we are combining the sentence using prepositional phrases. So the train came to a stop. Where did it stop? Near Union Station. Where is Union Station? In downtown Dallas. And that is your full sentence combined using a prepositional phrase, right? So to a stop is a uh, prepositional phrase. Near Union Station is a prepositional phrase. In downtown Dallas is also a prepositional phrase, okay? So these are, this is prepositions, prepositional phrases. Uh, Rewatch this video uh, uh, for additional help. Also, you still have access to the core text. All of the sentences for uh, the lecture, the quizzes, and assignments derive from the uh, core text, and this lecture is subject to fair use.